Hello, Ken Weller, New Tech Inventors. We're down here at my makeshift assembly area where I've been putting together some of the printers. We've got a Tronic CXY2 Pro here that we just put together with spring steel sheet on it. And we just printed one of the lap diner parts. I'm going to, it's still a little warm so it hasn't completely released but it, all you have to do is flex it a little bit and it helps that part release and it comes off and I'm getting a pretty good texture it's very sensitive to the Z offset what type of texture I get this one I can see a little bit of the lines in it if I reduce the zero offset just a little bit more I can get rid of all of those lines and all I'll have is just a kind of a rough texture probably do a little more adjustment with this but I want to make sure it's printing alright so I'm going to go ahead and print one more of these as a test okay I'm wanting to print the left 5.2 that one okay and we're printing at 60 degrees on the bed 225 at the nozzle with this blue PLA we're printing a quite a few of these blue lap diners and trying to get an inventory built up of those and then we're going to build an inventory of brown and red so the first lap diners that will be going on the website will be going on in a few weeks and we'll be putting blue red and brown lap diners on there as you can see I've got a weird configuration of helping hands here helping me I've got one of them laying all the way down and turn on its side and I use this little one this flexible light to adjust sounds like I need a little grease on that one and then I use this brighter light if I need it I don't think I need it right now and we'll let this thing start printing and see how it does okay it looks like it's starting out pretty good as you probably know I started out with the lap diner oh gosh almost a year ago and I introduced it on my first video I believe about a year ago and then I had to put it on the back burner because there just wasn't enough time for me to do the final testing and development of the lap diner as well as getting the helping hand and everything else on the website getting the Amazon store going things like that so there's just been a lot of delays I don't really like it but when you're a one-man operation you can only do so much however times finally come and the lap diners getting his day in the limelight so we're going to be focusing on getting several of these printed and at the same time we're still trying to get the new assembly area finished we haven't installed the air conditioning unit over there yet we were supposed to do it last week but my help wasn't able to show up so maybe uh, this week we can get something done with that get the air conditioning going over there I wanted to get the air conditioning going first so that we could work in a cool environment but at the rate we're going now it's going to be winter time before I get the air conditioner in so uh, that's how crazy things are sometimes any of you that have ever done anything like this you know things never go 
as planned. They're never as easy as you hope they'll be. That's just life. That's just the way it is. So I can deal with that. I kind of like to relax every once in a while. I'll come down here and just sit and reflect on what I have going on. This is the XY2 Pro. Tronix is a pretty good printer. However, I have had uh, my fair share of problems with them. I have one now where it appears that there's a bad electrical connection in the cable from the control board to the bed and it's on the heating element. I had another printer one time where it didn't have a good strain relief. It actually had two wires going to each side of the heating element and one of the wires had broken loose and the other wire was getting really hot when it was trying to heat that bed up and I had to end up replacing that. With this one there is a corrugated wire wrap like this around the cable going to the bed but I still think it must be allowing enough flexing where it's broken loose there or it's a bad connection at the board. I think it's a connection because when I'm preheating sometimes the bed will heat up to about 40 centigrade and just stop and start dropping back down and I move the cable around and then it will start heating again so that indicated to me that there's something wrong with the cable this is one in the other room and I'll be taking that cable loose and opening up the thing see what's going on now I have another Tronix C that's also down right now for a repair the problem with it is that the nozzle would start heating immediately when you turn the printer on so it's something I think that's on the control board but I'm gonna check it out pretty sure the control board something's uh, gone bad there and it's just locked in that heat mode other than that everything else I think with the Tronics is, is going all right I've got five of these printers with this textured PEI sheet that I'm printing these blue lap diners on now and I'll keep printing those until I've gone through several spools of filament I'm trying to print about 50 of the blue which is actually a hundred pieces hundred of these the right and the left part this is the left side and then there's a right side that goes in here it hinges to it so I'll have to print 50 of the left 50 of the right in all three colors so that will be 300 of these parts it take about six hours to print uh, with 0.6 nozzle six hours maximum I could print well maximum would be four a day but the maximum that I'm printing is three a day three parts on each printer because I don't come down here two or three times a day I try to come down here maybe twice a day max so that way I can I'm here late at night it's a quarter after 11 at night and I came down here just a while ago to restart some of these printers so I'm coming down here around 11 o'clock at night and then I'm coming down around at about 11 and then I'm coming down here 5 o'clock in the afternoon I'm actually starting them three times one early in the day the second time is around 5 o'clock in the afternoon and then the third time is 11 o'clock and then I don't come down at 5 o'clock a.m. we miss that other six hour interval but 
That's why I said I like to print everything on 12 hour intervals. So the most I have to come down is twice a day. I like to set up stuff to print 24 hour. That's really good because then I'm only changing the printers out once a day. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and let these run. I've got a couple in the other room. Keep printing these blue lap diners. Once we get our 100 pieces printed, then we'll switch over to probably the brown and print 100 of the brown and then switch over to red. I'm going to be freeing up, it looks like in a few days, I'll have some ANET A8s freed up have about eight or nine of those printers printing maybe the red lap diner. So they should be able to knock that out a lot faster. Well, as you can see, this thing's almost finished with the first layer. That's a 0.6 millimeter nozzle bead going down. And it feels and looks pretty consistent. So I should have a pretty good first layer. I kind of like this blue color. It's a, it's a little different blue. It's kind of a light blue. Not like a dark navy blue, but kind of a medium light blue and looks like it'll be pretty good make a pretty good lap diner so and we have some red that is an interesting red color that I'd like to print some with and put on the website and then the brown will be more of a neutral color it's a dark brown that I have so that's a little bit about what I'm doing down here tonight. Yesterday was an interesting day for me. I think some of you, when I've had some outside videos, may have seen the excavator that I still have from the construction business. And there was a tall tree right in the area where I park that was giving off some kind of sap or something every time I'd park near underneath it I would get this sticky film or something little spots all over my truck so I took that tree out I took the excavator and pushed it over uprooted it and broke it took the thumb and broke it into pieces and piled it up so we can burn it and graded the area where it had been before and now we've got a little more area to park out there but I need to order a load of gravel and get that gravel delivered and spread it around I also did some spraying about a week ago and killed all of the weeds most all of them around this building and around that parking area in the driveway and I probably need to mix up some more. I've got a four-wheeler with about a 30-gallon tank on the back of it with a pump and sprayer. And I can just ride that four-wheeler around and spray that weed killer. So I'll have to fill up the tank and mix up another batch and go around, hit all the spots I missed, as well as maybe adding a little more uh, to some of the areas that I did hit that where maybe it hasn't killed everything. So those are some of the outdoor things that I've been up to. Yeah, it looks like we're starting our second layer now. Everything looking good there. I still can sit and watch these things print. I've been doing this for two years now. Uh, still amazes me. I still get amazed at watching them print. It's kind of like airplanes taking off and landing and flying. I've always loved watching planes take off and land and so forth. 
I've always liked that even since I was a kid. And then back in the late 60s when I was in the Air Force and through about 70, I saw a lot of airplanes land and take off then. I was actually in air traffic control. It never got old for me. And then when I got my pilot's license, of course, then I loved flying. And I've been flying up until, oh, about, it's been about a little bit over a year ago that I sold my airplane. And part of that was because of my eyesight. I have, I think I mentioned that I've had macular degeneration and I had cataract surgery recently. And the old eyes just aren't what they used to be. When you can't see very well or your eyesight is limited, then you have to be careful what you do. Working with stuff like I have here is no problem, but landing an airplane or taking off or flying around is a little different thing. So when my sight started getting to the point where it looked like it was going to be causing me some problems, that's when I decided it was time to quit. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.